Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back for more Drummer Daily. I hope you're doing well, because I'm doing well, and uh, I'm getting ready to start another exciting week here in my world. Um, I am trying a little different way of recording this today. It may not sound any different to you, but uh, if, if you don't like it or you love it, whatever it is, please uh, let me know um, what you think. So, uh, you know, sometimes on this on this podcast, I like to go super deep, and then sometimes I like to keep it simple. And today is definitely going to be a day where I keep it simple. Um, and uh, this came from experience. I, I played a session yesterday, um, and uh, it was uh, it was one of those days. And I, maybe I've mentioned this before, but it was one of those days or one of those sessions where um, playing. Uh, Playing, playing the drums didn't feel very good to me. It did for whatever reason, you know. I just wasn't quote unquote feeling it, you know. Uh, but uh, I, you know, it's one thing when you're practicing and you're not feeling it. You can find ways to try to get around that or or push through it or or whatever. Um, but when you're on, you know, on the clock, so to speak, uh, and you've you've got to uh, you got to deliver something for somebody else as a drummer. Um, not feeling it is not the best feeling in the world. So um, what I mean by not feeling it was um, I just wasn't, I didn't feel like I was able to get something that really um, uh, had a good groove to it, had a good feel, was accurate. I didn't feel like I was doing a good job with any of that. Um, I felt like I was I was playing pretty poorly. So, um, but in this situation, of course, I can't just stop or wait till I feel it or whatever. I have to, I have to play. So I did. And, um, what's interesting about it is, um, me and the producer both, when we listened back after my playing, I was like, wow, that actually feels pretty good. Um, and, um, then, and I don't, I, you know, I can't tell you why, what I did that made it feel good or, you know, but what it was, was that I actually, uh, the problem wasn't actually with my playing. It was with my perception of my playing. It was with, uh, how I was in the moment of playing the part, how I was perceiving and feeling what I was playing. Um, and I had drifted into what I've talked to before, which is, uh, talked to about, talked about before, which is, um, I was playing with my, my, my hands. I was feeling the way everything felt with my hands and my feet. I wasn't listening to my playing with my ears to hear how it sounded when it lined up. That's really a tough thing to do. It's a concept I talk about a lot, which is, um, you know, don't don't let your uh, don't let the your feeling of your sticks impacting the drum or hitting the head. Don't let that feeling be the thing that informs you on how accurate you you are with your playing or how much feel you have or anything like that. Um, try to remove yourself from the feeling of those of those those hits happening and try to listen with your ears um, and and hear where things are lining up, not feel them. Um, which is kind of backwards, I know. I'm always talking about trying to have play with feel, and then I'm saying don't feel something, listen to it. But in this situation, I think this is what you do. Anyway, I had drifted into saying I'm not feeling my playing, feeling like it should. Um, but what was amazing was when we listened back to the recording, it was like, oh, that actually feels pretty good. Um, and it wasn't as bad, um, nearly as bad as I thought. And so this is why I always say, um, uh, my advice to other drummers is always to video yourself or, or record yourself, find some way to play and then be able to listen back to what you just played. Um, there's so much more perspective you gain. And, and, you know, a lot of times the assumption when I say that is that you're going to find out places that you need to work on, which of course does happen a lot. It happens to me all the time. Uh, I find all kinds of things that are wrong with my playing, but every once in a while, I actually surprised myself. I'm like, wow, that was pretty good. Um, and, and so I'm sure you'll find the same things out too. You, you might listen back to something and be like, wow, that was better than uh, I thought it was. And I'm actually um, I'm recording this and I'm about to head over to the studio to hang out uh, with someone on uh, one of my drum intensives, my two-day intensive where uh, a drummer comes into town and we work in the studio and we do a recording session and all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm actually about to, about to head over there after I do this podcast. Um, but when I do these intensives, um, a lot of times when we do the recording uh, session, 
a lot of times the drummers themselves will notice the same thing. They'll actually be surprised at how good they are. Um, they'll they'll say, "Wow, I didn't didn't realize I played that that well." And, and when they hear themselves back the first time after doing the the tracking, they're they're almost always surprised at how good it sounds and how solid their playing is. Um, because in the moment, maybe they're not perceiving it very well, or um, you know, you just don't you never know. And so. Um, the more you can listen back to yourself playing, the more, of course, you'll find things to work on, but also the more you'll find that you are actually a better drummer than you think sometimes. Um, so I thought this, I know it's early in the week when this episode comes out um, for most of us. And so uh, I thought I wanted to give you something to kind of kickstart your week uh, that uh, you're, you're probably better than you think. And you're probably better than you think a lot more than you realize um, or that you give yourself credit for. So record yourself and find those things that actually are better than you expected, not just the things to work on, but listen for things that actually surprise you in a good way. That's good fuel to keep going and keep working and keep improving. All right, we'll talk again soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.